Thorium is not simply a silvery white metal. It is four times more abundant than uranium. But could it be an alternative energy source? The Thorium Energy Conference explored the scientific and technical advances to nuclear technologies offered by Thorium. Conference Chair Egil Lillestol invited Swedish diplomat and politician Hans Blix to talk about Thorium nuclear power and non-proliferation. The resistance to nuclear power is mainly focused on three things. Uh, one is on safety. Actually, safety, of course, has improved very, very much over the last uh, 40 years. The second point has to do with the waste issue. Uh, people are worried about the uh, waste that may be radioactive for 100,000 years and say, can we take that responsibility? Thorium is very interesting from that point of view because it gives rise to spent fuel that is radioactive and dangerous only a couple of hundred years. And it's also the quantities are very much smaller than, than the other. The third one was then the one that I should address today, and that was about proliferation. I mean, people are worried, or some people are worried, about the spread of nuclear weapons through the use of nuclear techniques. With thorium, you cannot get a material. If you irradiate, you don't, can, can't get a material from which you can make bombs. So it's very satisfactory from this point of view. So all in all, there are different qualities in the thorium that makes it interesting. I'm not a nuclear man, I'm a, I'm a lawyer, <laughs> but I'm interested as, as someone dealing with energy in the world, I'm interested in it and I think that thorium is one of the avenues that we want very much to be uh, explored and where there is a lot of attention now. We were really expecting a nuclear spring and then along came Fukushima. To me it is terrible because nuclear gives humanity an enormous amount of electricity without carbon dioxide, without a risk for global warming. And to those who say that we are worried about global warming and against nuclear power, I really don't take them quite seriously. People say that we should have, have renewable energy. In my view we should have sustainable energy. If we have through uranium or thorium sources that can give us sufficient energy, more, much more than today, for a thousand years, is that not enough? I mean, I think that's sustainable enough for me. It's a very impressive intellectual and civil engineering and scientific thing that has been done. And what I like also very much about it is that it is international. That it is not just one country that is competing, but here, like in ITER, uh, for the fusion energy in France, it's a huge project in which many countries contribute. And uh, people say they cost a lot of money. Well, I'm looking very much at disarmament and what the armaments cost the world. And the armaments currently cost the world about $1,600 billion a year around the world. And so I think, fine, go ahead with this thing. This, this may teach us, it tells us something about how the world was created once and about the universe. And I, that I think is well used money, the money that we throw away on, on military equipment, rusty within 20 years time. I think that's lost money. This is gained money.